Hello Rubber Chicken, Claire here, your resident voice coach and harmony wrangler. Um, I thought I'd talk to you today a little bit about singing. Now I can't cover very much in a little video like this, but I thought, I thought I could get you started on some of the things that we do in a singing lesson or before a singing session. One of the things I like to do with my pupils and with myself is to warm up my face and what I call the articulators. We call them the articulators because they are the bits of your face and neck that you use in order to articulate your words, to pronounce your words and quite clearly when you're speaking or singing. So your articulators are made up of your face muscles, so your jaw all in here, your lips, your teeth and your tongue. And your tongue actually not isn't just here, it's actually all the way under here. It's actually quite massive. So if you put your finger here, and then move your tongue to the left and right of your mouth inside. You can feel it moving, yes? Because it comes all the way down here, it's quite big. So one of the things I do to wake up your face and to make sure it's ready to work and it's not holding any tension is to imagine that you're chewing a massive toffee. Now this is not in a polite way. This is not table manners chewing. This is full on open mouth, imagine a camel with a toffee kind of chewing, okay? So like this, and I cannot believe I'm going to do this on video, but here we go. So you imagine you're chewing with your whole face, your forehead, your eyebrows, and making disgusting noises is pretty much compulsory. So chew your massive toffee. The next thing we do is that you're gonna take your tongue and circle around your teeth as if you're cleaning out old bits of cornflake from the morning, which I know is gross, but it's a really good image for doing the kind of cleaning that you do and you make circles with your tongue like this all the way around, okay? So you do about five one way and about five the other and your tongue should really start to ache. So do it fairly quickly so you can feel it really working. Go for it. Hmm? 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 Hmm. And do it the other way as well. One, two, three, four, five. Good. If you're actually doing this, go for it. If you're not, shame on you. Go back and start again. Okay, so you've done your tongue that way and that way. The next thing I want you to do with your tongue, because it's got lots of different muscles in it and it goes lots of different ways inside, there's not really any one thing we can do for your tongue, so your tongue needs quite a lot of work on itself. So stick your tongue into one cheek like this and say, rubber chicken. Rubber chicken! And the other side. Rubber chicken! Good. The next thing we're going to do is imagine that you are a lizard and you're one of those lizards that sticks their tongues out or chameleons or whatever they're called. One of those creatures that has a long sticky tongue that they shoot out and catch a fly with. Except this time the fly is on your chin. So I want you to shoot it out really fast, catch the fly and put your tongue away again like this. Like that, okay, on you go. Fab, right. So your tongue and your face and your jaw and all are getting working and starting to be ready to go. The next thing we need to warm up is your brain. So we're gonna do this little exercise that some of you will probably know. I do this with my pupils. The only thing you need to be able to do to do this exercise is count to eight. And you need to be able to do it forwards and backwards. So if you can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, then you're good to go with this exercise, okay? So we assign one note to each number. So we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are the notes and the numbers, okay? So the exercise goes like this. We start at one and then we do one, two, one. And then we do one, two, three, two, one. And then one, two, three, four, three, two, one. And you see how it goes. So it goes like this. One, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Make sense? Good. So it sounds a little bit complicated if you've not done it before, but it's the kind of thing that gets into your head and you'll start thinking about it and it'll probably torture you. Sorry. Um, for those of you who've done that or you've got the hang of that, you can start at the top, start at eight and do it upside down like this. Eight, eight, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. So that'll be your brain warmed up if you can cope with all of that. 
But not only were you warming your brain up, you were doing a little bit of singing and you were using your articulators. The faster you go with that exercise, the more your articulators start to work. So here's where I'm going with this. One of the biggest challenges and the biggest workouts you can give your articulators are tongue twisters. It's not just your tongue that has to work hard, it's all of them. So what I want you to do is see if you can challenge me to the hardest tongue twister you can find, okay? So I am willing to humiliate myself over this because, well, you know, I think I'm pretty good at tongue twisters. I'm not gonna lie. The whole red leather, yellow leather thing doesn't really bother me. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. I mean, come on. There's gotta be something harder out there. But I'm terrible at thinking of tongue twisters and I never remember any that people tell me. So can you find the hardest tongue twister that you can? See if you can do it. And if you can, challenge me and I'll see if I can do it. And I will humiliate myself in this video trying to do it. If you can't do it because it's too hard, all the better. Send it my way and I'll see if I can do it for you. Okay, so in the meantime, get your face moving, get your brain engaged and sing something every day. It's good for you. And hopefully you'll have lots of great tongue twister challenges that you can practice for yourself and also challenge me with. Okay, see you later, guys.